and an act to extend authorization for the September 11th. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander. The yeas are 97, the nays are 2, the bill is passed. The Senate will resume executive session for the consideration Today is not a celebration. It's a deep sigh of relief. We have lost so many of our heroes, and sadly, more will continue to get sick, and more will die. And I can tell you, um, you've never had a fight. The proof of the pudding of the great job she did, and all the people behind me did, is said in two numbers. 97 and 2. 97 and 2. Like Senator Schumer on your side, someone who's never given up. We can never repay all that the 9-11 community has done for our country, but we can stop penalizing them. And today is that day that they can exhale, because unfortunately the, the pain and suffering of, of what these heroes continue to go through is going to continue. Uh, there have been too many funerals, too many hospices. Uh, these families deserve better. And I'm really, I'm hopeful that today begins the process of being able to heal without the burden of having to advocate. Who's never given in who's made sure he stood by for every single time this bill. We saw an opportunity. We had a small window, and we took advantage of it. And we're leaving D.C. on our terms, and we're going out with dignity and class. We got our straight up and down vote, 97 to 2. He had gained over a lifetime of success, and he spent... But out of the ashes and debris of September 11th arose hope and courage and strength and commitment. And those acts resulted in a vote today of 97 to 2. I won't forget. We won't forget. And today you know, all of you, that this country stands with you and for you. She has worked from the very beginning as the first person to introduce it. Uh, and so it is perhaps an historical anomaly that this bill appropriates unlimited funds for a virtually unlimited time period.